it up and early. So your name and then what you take calls and help people and we'll go from there. So action. Okay, my name is Andrea Carter. I'm the founder of Peterborough Supernatural Investigations in Ontario, Canada. And what I do with the paranormal is help out at paranormal events. I also take calls from people who are looking to find assistance in dealing with paranormal phenomena in their home or workplace. My group will come in, we'll do an investigation, free of charge of course, and see if we can find any evidence to help support um, what is usually an uncomfortable situation for the client. In your investigations and helping people, what percentage or number of cases roughly involve a Ouija board in your opinion? I have yet to come across a case that's involved a Ouija board. Um, I, I can't speak to other affiliated teams, but uh, in, in Peterborough Supernatural Investigations or PSI, I haven't come across that. So when you see people in the typical, you know, um, ghost uh, investigations, they ask all they ask that of the homeowners usually. Uh, why do you think that's such a go-to question? Um, do you think it's rare that the Ouija board's involved in a haunting? I think that there's going to be a Ouija board somewhere in the past having been dealt with. Uh, if somebody has been interested, it, it, you, every client is different where if, so, if a client is interested in the paranormal, that they would have potentially used a Ouija board sometime in the past and opened themselves up to uh, phenomena that may otherwise not be occurring, as opposed to somebody who is skeptical, feels like they're losing their mind, that they can't understand why things are happening that they are experiencing. So what do you think the Ouija board is and how do you think it works? What I think the Ouija board is, is a tool to use. And personally, I used to be afraid to use them. There was a lot of stigma attached. I was raised um, by a family that would not allow one in the house because of experiences my parents had when they were young. Um, and I'm sorry, what was the rest of it? Well, just uh, your experience, what you, how do you think they work, and oh, how do you, well, you know, and what do you think the mechanism of action is? Okay, the, how, I think how a Ouija board works deals with channeling the energy from a spirit through you, and in that sense, opening yourself up to essentially channel and, and um, receive answers from whether it's an alternate plane, a different reality, a different dimension, or just simply from an entity that we can't see. And uh, though if that's all true, wh why do you think you've had no experiences in your investigations with Ouija-related hauntings? Do you think maybe because they're not bad, is that why? They're not the boogeyman everyone thinks? or I think that Ouija boards are... They, they directly reflect the intent of the person that's using them. Um, and that it's not necessarily something scary. I mean, up in Canada, I was trying to get an international perspective on Ouija boards for Bob and uh, put an ad on a local free website, uh, kind of like Craigslist. And I was asking people who had Ouija boards that didn't want them to contact me so that I could collect them and also collect their stories. The only responses I got to that ad involved people wanting to sell me a Ouija board that they couldn't even send me a picture of. There was nobody who was scared of them. There was nobody who was itching to get rid of it. Um, it was, uh, I really don't think that up in Canada, there's particularly any stigma that is creating this big scary thing, at least at least not in Ontario. Is that because Canadians are more intelligent than Americans and, or, you know, less superstitious or, you know, what, what do you attribute that to? I attribute it to potentially 
more multiculturalism mm -hmm. as opposed to the whole melting pot, everybody sharing the same opinion. Um, that it's very select pockets of people that may be sharing this idea of, of something being so evil as a Ouija board. So if I ask you a question, do you think Ouija boards are dangerous? In a sentence, what would your answer be? You know, like I think Ouija boards are or are not dangerous. I think Ouija boards are usually not dangerous. I think they could potentially become dangerous if they're used with ill intent. Okay, fair enough. And ha what's your experience playing with them yourself? Have you played with them? Have you used them? If so, how many times roughly? Or I don't know if it's the same in the USA, but in Canada it's often a game that's played after alcohol has been consumed as a teenager. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it involves a lot of um, what I would consider inaccurate <laughs> unreliable circumstance mm -hmm. that it's uh, strictly a Parker Brothers game and or whatever company's game mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, I've never used a Ouija board in French but all those boards up there are certainly bilingual so tell me something like tonight at the I know you're going to the lounge afterwards but so you aren't going to be part of the experiment they're doing at 10 uh, and you're not you have no interest in ever touching one now as an adult um, since meeting Bob and getting to know him and learning his perspectives on the Ouija board I strongly agree with them and I have overcome that fear that was instilled in me growing up as far as uh, using a Ouija board and, and being afraid of it so when's the last time you used one uh, last night, actually. And what happened? Um, it seemed as if we had a spirit in the room that was unable to spell. Ah, okay. So yeah. nothing conclusive. Nothing conclusive at all. Okay. Um, I don't know. There's methodology I use when I use a Ouija board now uh, to have somebody watching and have everybody who's got their hands on the planchette close their eyes to help remove some of the potential um, cheating sure. that could occur yeah. and have the person who is watching read out what is being um, spelled out. Yeah, one theory is that the eyes are necessary because even if we are a conduit, you still, the spirits need to use your eyes. So it's a very interesting, because that's a very logical thing to do to, to close your eyes, but apparently that never works because it, there might be this gray area as we've come to understand maybe between the paranormal and the psychological right. where you know so, so it's, it's interesting see that, but at the same time it's all theory yeah absolutely it's all theory and um, absolutely i mean we wish. If, if if you are having a spirit use your eyes i think that could potentially be a form of possession it could be a form of, of channeling um, that could be opening yourself to something that that could stick with you or um, create some ill in your life whereas if you are strictly just allowing them to use your energy to um, manipulate you in just the way of, of I don't know if it would say move your hands or move the planchette using your energy but I'm no, I'm that's sorry. fair enough. Now, to finish up, so here we are trying to figure out what the Ouija board is. So, reiterate, how do you, what do you think it is, how do you think it works, and then we'll end up with you saying your name again, spelling it, and listing how you want to be listed. Okay, that's a lot. Well, first of all, what is it, how does it work, what and then we'll go to the second part, just, just okay. as a wrap-up. Okay. The Ouija board is? The Ouija board is a tool that is potentially a viable tool for paranormal investigation um, if it is used in a manner that can be objective as opposed to potentially pushed around by by somebody who is cheating. Um, so it works by the idea motor effect or by spiritual? 
or a combination? Right, and I think that it works by way of you channeling the the entity in a way that they are using your energy to move the planchette around the board. Okay, and then say your name again, and then how you want to be listed. Thank you. My name is Andrea Carter. That's A N D R E A C A R D, like dog, mm -hmm. E R. Okay. And uh, I'd love to be listed as founder of Peterborough Supernatural Investigations. Okay, perfect. Just getting a last shot of you. Can you look kind of a little bit, not towards the light, but a little bit towards that way? Just get like a B-roll. Okay, shot. Nice, cut away. Perfect. Perfecto.